take a look. We got two packages that just came in. Um, yeah, I'm always looking for SSB radios, but I'm looking for, I'm trying to find like sort of like really rare CBs. So I recently just bought this and I offer up for 40 bucks. Crazy deal. Had to fix a few minor things on it, but it works perfectly. Yeah, channel 30, lower sideband going crazy right now. But um, I don't know if I'm going to keep this one because it's so big. So I'm kind of doing my little radio area here. So I'm kind of revamping this whole area. Um, so I'm going to unbox each of these boxes. I think I know which ones they are, but I think I paid between the two. I'm going to do them individually because that way I can keep each one in part one as I restore each, each for CB. Um, but they're both pretty rare. All right, so let's take a look at this. That's not my address. Um, I'm in Costa Mesa, California. It's not really hard to figure out who I am. And I'm not even, I'm not even hiding either. So, let's take a look at this one. Hopefully it's not damaged. Originally, this was, uh, originally in, in the ad, this, uh, the guy actually had it connected to a speaker, like a, like a center console, not center console, but like a center hump speaker. But, um, I have my name on it, I if you know one. But uh, I paid $40 for it, and I was $20 in shipping. So, man, take a look. I don't know how good or bad this is. It looks pretty dirty in the pictures. Yeah, there you go. Take a look at that. Yeah, I don't know how, what, if that's, what the, exactly, if that's dirt or paint gone. Or just finger dirt. But if you're not familiar with this radio, it's pretty light actually. Kind of surprised how light it is for this for this era. Um, but it's a Road Talker 40. All right, yeah, it was, it was a single sideband. All right, did it came in the mic? And look at that. Okay, you must have had a mount. Right, I'm not, I'm not going to need the mount, but. So I'm going to actually have it my own custom 3D frame mount that I designed. Um, Alright, so this is a Road Talker 40, single side band. Paid 40 bucks for it. Um, so if you're not familiar with this, I'm going to take it apart. We'll look at the, the main board. Um, but it's supposed to use the same main board as the uh, Cobra 146 GTL, which is a really good board. Alright, so this must be from the 80s, so it's made in Taiwan, so, I mean, I definitely would have preferred Japan, so the next, the next box I'm going to open up is a, a, the, it's going to be a, it's a radio made in Japan. Like, it's funny, this other road talker, that thing was made in Japan, but I heard that thing was made by Hitachi, so, but all these other radios seem like they were made by United, so... All right, so I don't even know if this even works, the condition of it. Um, but I'm going to go through to clean up the whole thing. This will just be part one. And, you know, video or, or, uh, radios like this are usually worth recapping. And they actually, there's a guy called Klein, Klein, Klondike Mike. Um, it seems like he sells cap kits. So, and he actually has one for this, for this radio. So, it's like $25 to redo the whole thing in caps. And they're like Nichicon caps, so they're, they're good name brand caps. Not like the cheapo ones. You, you gotta be you gotta be careful. With some of the cheapo cap kits you get on eBay are all like no name horrible caps. So you want to stick with either Japanese caps or like name brand Rubicon, Nichicon. You know, good caps. All right. So usually with most radios, I do, before I even fire them up, I like to take a look inside just to make sure there's nothing wrong inside so I don't create more damage, you know. If it's already going to explode or burn out, you know, <laughs> caps going to explode, I want to see it first. So what we're mainly looking for is leaking caps. All right, let me take this pot. Okay, so just took the back cover off. It looks like this is like some kind of, it came this little thing from off, this black stuff right here. So it looks like it was some kind of anti-rattle, like sort of velvet on there. So bring it just so it doesn't rattle. That's kind of cool. Um, so I might find a way to see if I can, I can I get some adhesive and glue that back on there. Um, okay. I'm hoping this thing doesn't have any mods. 
All right, let's take the other side off. You know, this radio kind of stinks. I'm trying to figure out what it smells like. It's been rattling there too. And this actually came came flying out. This little lock washer, but it smells like this was in a place with the smoker. Um. But yeah, back in the 70s, everybody, 60s and 70s and 50s, I guess everybody smoked back then, 80s too. So, oh yeah, okay, there we go. There's a bunch of more, all this anti-rattle stuff's coming off. Oh. All right. So I know with my, because this has a lot less caps than the other one I've seen. So um, on these, um, on one of the presents I'm restoring, which is actually a United board, not in or unit in board. Um, this thing actually has unit in caps. So the fact that this was made in Taiwan, I probably doesn't have Nichicon caps. Let's take a closer look though. So if it's made in Taiwan, I'm guessing probably I mean probably early eighties, seventies. I think they started making things in China in the early 2000s. Yeah, some of these look kind of dirty. I'll probably end up putting deoxin on there. Um, so what I'm looking for is bolting caps. Because I don't really want to fire this up if I see bolting caps. Hmm. I mean, it looks pretty clean, though. I'm actually glad it's all dusty and dirty on the inside. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm just inspecting everything here and taking a quick once over. Um, okay, so there's glue. I'm just, okay, so nothing obvious. Um, I'm going to go do a little more detailed look with my magnifying glasses here. So on one of these older radios, the VFO, the channel selector knob needs to be cleaned out. Um, you probably want that's going to wash out it, wash it out. So here's a closer look at the board. Look at me, it looks pretty clean. I mean, some of these pots are, are look like they're kind of like that right there. Look how black it is right there. So I'm looking for bulging caps. I can see some old glue. But the chrome actually looks really good on this radio. Kind of buggy to give me the speaker box, but um, yeah, no big deal. I wasn't going to use it anyways. But it had like a it was like a hump to go in the center of a like a transmission hump, you know, and, and for a truck. Okay, do you see any mods? I don't see any like obvious mods here. So it's a good sign. What's that? Is that a filter? What's that? Just a filter, maybe? I'm not sure. Um the back there. Okay, no. Pretty good inside. I mean it's not dusty and dirty. Um like some of these radios I've I've looked at are horrible. But I've actually kind of lucked out here. Well, I don't know if it works, but we're going to find out pretty fast. All right, so this looks like it's just dirt, I think. Yeah, okay, cool. But it looks like the white, there's a white speckle on everything, you know? So it looks like this might have been in the garage or something. You're painting, painting around it or something. So if I can get that off, like here on the screen. Yeah, on that too. Maybe a little bit of alcohol. Let me alcohol get that off there. Just lightly rub it, I guess. Alright, actually, let me see if these work. I'm, I'm going to actually live with all these switches, clean them all out. So, alright, let's fire it up. Yeah, it's funny, I just fixed my power supply a few hours ago. I had to replace the power transistor in it. Um, yeah, I wanted to get that sure that thing was fixed before I started hooking to my radios because it was putting out 18 volts. And it, was, it wasn't regulating, but the, the main power transistor was out. So, now that I feel confident that this is going in here... All right, let's see. No go. Huh. Well, I had me nervous for a second there. That thing was next in there tight, but still haven't tried this yet, so. All right. Okay. Right. Oh, it's fresh and sets the regular. Yeah. 
Alright, that's looking good. Channel 6. Yeah, I heard that these things are really good radios. They have really good receive. Uh, like I said, it's basically a cover of 146 GTL, which is a really nice radio. Kind of enjoying So, I'm going to take out this, uh, like I said, I just got done 3D printing all my whole area here and all my, rebuilt this linear amp. Um, it's been a while since I've been in the CB radios. Um, but... So I want to redo this, but I mainly just listen to. I mean, I don't want really to talk very much. I just like listen on. It's more about like about emergency preparedness. Um. So we're looking for this. Cool thing is this is not sticking. I don't see any, like numbers sticking. Like this is not actually like I'm not missing digits. Let's try 38. Okay, lower side band. I do hear something. Yeah, the skip has been incredible for the last week or so. Alright, so it came with a uh, tombstone mic. You know, the same as like your typical like, Cobra. You know, a Cobra on here somewhere. Uh, yeah, just your typical standard tombstone mic. What's funny is I do actually have, which came with this radio over here. This thing is so rare, I can't even get any information about it. It's the Sears Amplified Noise Canceling Mic. Six pin. If you guys know anything about this mic, let me know, because I can't find any information about it in or anywhere. All right. Yeah, I designed this little uh, mic mount thing here. All right. All right, it works. Like some of these readings, like, yeah, I mean, you should recap them, and I'm probably going to recap it. Cost me 25 bucks. Um, yeah, it's probably going to take me a few hours to recap all those caps, but I mean, it's this is a worth, I mean, this is a radio that's worth investing money into because this, you know, it's obviously a sideman, so plus it was actually a really good radio. All right, this, is, this will just be part one, and in, in the next video, I will show you the star of the show. Um, but this is also a nice radio too. 40 bucks, 20 bucks shipping, so not bad, 6 bucks. Single side band. Alright, awesome.